you just closed your fiscal year in General Ledger, but now you have to record some more entries. What do you do? Not a problem. Watch this lesson and we'll show you how to record these as prior year adjustments. When the lesson is over, you should be able to enter in post entries for the fiscal year that you just closed and close these entries to that year's retained earnings. You know, we've already closed our fiscal year in General Ledger, but the accountant has some additional entries for us. Are we in trouble? Nope, not at all. It's actually pretty common. You can treat them as prior year adjustments. How do we record them? Let's use our sample database to demonstrate how to do this. First, you need to make sure that you can post into the period that you're recording the entry to. I see. Use tasks, open close posting period? Yes. Select the prefix that you're making the entry to. Click the box to remove the check mark for the period that you want to post to. A check mark means it's closed off to posting, and no check mark means you can post to it? Correct. I'm making my adjusting entries to December, so I clear that checkbox and click Accept. Yes. Now I can make those entries. Right. And you can either record those entries directly in General Ledger, or if they need to be made from another application, you can do that as well. After making your prior year adjusting entries, remember to post them. Right. And because the period is now open to posting, those entries won't be rejected. And after the entries are posted through, remember to close off that period to any more posting. So use tasks, open close posting period again, and put a check mark next to that period. Let's complete that step now. Now no one can accidentally post to that period. Note, after you make those entries, it changes your financials for that month and every month after. Right. So I should print my financials and monthly reports again. Is that it? There's one more very important thing you have to do. After you record entries to the past fiscal year, you need to close them to retained earnings for that year. Yes, if the entries were for profit and loss accounts, that would affect retained earnings. But what if the entries were made to balance sheet accounts? Even though the balances in the balance sheet accounts don't close to retained earnings, General Ledger still requires you to reclose the fiscal year in order to properly update the fields. And this applies to any type of account. It needs to clear any balance in the prior year adjustment field. I see. And before you reclose the past fiscal year again, Make sure you have a backup of your files and ask everyone want to exit Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. Go to Tasks, Close Fiscal Year. This is your reminder about having a backup. Select the prefix that you're reclosing. But it won't close my fiscal year, will it? Don't worry. If you're not in the last period of your fiscal year, it only closes prior year adjustments and doesn't actually close your current fiscal year. Look what happens when we click OK. Notice the message, prefix not at year end. Prior year's adjustments will be closed. Good deal. Check the amounts and make any changes as needed. In our sample database, this prefix is set up to automatically distribute 100% of the retained earnings to its partners. Click Accept. Then click Start to begin the process. Can we take a look at the journal that prints out? Sure. Here are the closing entries for those prior year adjustments. And they're posted to the history.glt, just like all the other closing entries? Yes. Anything else I should remember to do? If you archived all your entries from the prior year as part of file maintenance, then you should move those prior year entries that you just made to the archive file so that you're consistent. Good point. And that means using the Move Transactions command and using the same option that I used to archive last year's entries? Correct. Thanks for your help, Yuna. 
You are very welcome. Now I'm confident that I can complete all the steps to record my prior year entries and reclose my fiscal year. And when I'm done, I won't forget to reprint my financial statements. Good. And remember to print them for that month and for every month after because your balances would have changed. Sage offers several ways for you to interact and get the answers you need quickly. Get help from others with similar questions in a Sage City community. Find answers in our knowledge base. Or take an online course on Sage University.